Hello guys, welcome back to another week of YouTube videos. I am your host, who is apparently listening to Inuyasha's <laughs> awesome music, but uh, yeah, I am Flood Mod 14 here. And uh, oh yeah, this isn't for the uh, OS turning by the way, this was just me, um, Basically, I was sort of working out my own problems. Uh, no, but uh, I was actually testing this uh, because tomorrow's Friday, and I don't know if you guys know what Friday is, but um, yeah, Friday's the start of um, Shadow Game Weekend this weekend. Yeah, man, I love October because you know a lot of people don't like you know mysticism and you know all this Egyptian fairy tales and stuff, occult goods. A lot of people are just like Seto Kaiba here. I'm just going to hold up his blue eyes just while I explain this. But a lot of people are like Seto Kaiba. You know, anything too, you know, spiritual or, you know, foreign or, uh, wow, that's some awesome gloss right there. Look at that. But yeah, anything too mystic or, you know, too, even if you start talking about like Christianity or God or, it really, you know, People really, human beings, let me say this, and this is so true, guys, human beings, and I, I'm one too, so I, I can definitely relate to this statement, human, all human beings tend to get set in their ways, um, by that I mean that once we're in the routine of doing something, we very rarely ever change it, I mean ever, so. Um, yeah, yeah. So, that being said, I love October, though, and fall because, dude, like, this is the best time, right? I, like, if you're a fellow duelist or a card game collector, you know what I'm talking about. Like, there's no better time to recruit a friend. And, yeah, I would encourage you all to do that. Um, you know, if you're fans of... You know, the Yu-Gi-Oh! parts of the show. Or, if you're a fan of Naruto or Pokemon. Yeah, whatever. You know, Dragon Ball Z even. Some people can't even really accept Dragon Ball Z because, ooh, people from space are, you know, claiming to be Super Saiyan gods. Ooh, no, no, no. We can't have that. We can't have them claiming to be God, you know. Uh, can't let my kid watch that. They said God and they weren't referring to, you know, the Almighty. So, I'm just like, really, man? I don't know, but the, hey, uh, some some parents are strict. Let's face it. Let's face facts, man. And this is always going to be true. Some parents are way more strict than others. So, yeah, if you got strict parents and you're watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. They're not going to let you buy any Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Not going to let you date. You know, <laughs> even though you're more than capable of handling it at the ripe age of. When was my first date? Seventeen, seventeen. Yeah, yeah. Even though you're more than capable of handling it at the ripe age of seventeen and a half. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, like, seriously though, man. Like, you know. It's so funny. I could probably just do a whole video series on my history as a teenager, as a man, well, as a young man, and it would just, you know. It would just, it would be some epic storytelling. Because a lot of it I have written down, you know, in journals and stuff. Just from, uh, man, that is some great artwork. Look at that. That's so cool, man. Wow. <laughs> I could sit here and look at this card all day. <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't, I don't need to see my reflection in the mirror. I just want to, <laughs> I just want to see the card. Like, <laughs> that's just weird, man. Well, I'm going to kill this video here. One second, guys. Yeah, I'm going to kill this video, so... Let's see. There we go. Okay. Well, uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm actually going to grab some pizza. Well, I'll just take you guys with me. <laughs> Look at me just still looking at that card. <laughs> I can't take my eyes off it. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look. Look at it. It's amazing. It's like some greater power is controlling it. Look. It's going to become un unraveled. It's like something greater than myself has suddenly overtaken the world. And with joy, 
peace and happiness. Look at it. Look at it. In all of its majesty. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at the bag. Watch. Watch this. You guys think those don't exist? Okay, check this out. Check this out. I'll prove that there's something else in this world besides humans. Watch. Watch. <gasps> by itself. Okay, now I'm going to set it over here. Now watch, watch, watch. Wait, wait, we're just going to sit here and wait. Watch. <gasps> did you see that? See it move? I did. Watch. <sighs> oh, God. I can't blow it hard enough. Oh, see, 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 see. Did you see it move? Watch this, watch. Oh, that's what we call that's what we got. <laughs> oh, good. Now watch this. Watch this. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna make it move. My magical wind powers. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Oh, awesome. It actually did move. <laughs> like, yeah, it was barely an inch. I don't know if you guys saw that, but... Yeah. <laughs> Like, anyway, I don't know why I went totally beautiful mind on you guys. <laughs> like, am I right? Yeah, I don't know why I just did that, but... Yeah, later we'll go outside and check on that bag. I guarantee you it'll be, like, up against the fence. I'll, and I'll just throw it away, so... <sighs> anyway, man, it's hot in here. Why is it so... Oh, right, that's why I just cooked the pizzas, so... <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys, um... But I hope everyone's doing okay. But, yeah, I'm just gonna take a few minutes here to... Get a couple slices of pizza, and, uh, yeah. We're just gonna... I know, so rude, right? Uh, I don't care, this is a bonus episode. But, uh... Yeah, I'm really just... Uh, guys, this is actually going to be bonus episode of, uh... Pokemon Go Flood Yourself Emerald. Um, we're still on the, the special bonus quest to catch, uh... 14 Zigzagoons. And as you guys can tell, I'm just making it as fun and stupid as possible. You know, because it is a bonus part, so it's sort of like, eh, you know, whatever. Kind of doesn't matter, really. I mean, I could really sit here and talk about Fudge Strike Cookies in a bonus episode. Because it is a bonus episode. And that's the most fun part. Um, I've noticed that as well. Um, some LPers will actually try to rush a bonus episode. And Mmm. Mmm, purple one. Good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Man. Mmm. I love pizza, dude. Thank God that he made somebody mm, think of the idea of pizza. Man, it's like my favorite food ever, dude. My dad, true story here, guys, though. My dad used to be manager of a Domino's, so that's pretty cool. Those were the days <laughs> back when a large pizza cost like only like three dollars. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, think about that, guys. Back in the good old back in my day when dinosaurs roamed the earth and and the earth was ripe <laughs> and untouched. No, no, seriously, <laughs> ripe and untouched. Wow, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's dangerous, Josh. Anyway, um. In all seriousness, no, though, uh, yeah, pizzas, yeah, and I mean large pizzas, guys. Yeah, they used to cost only like $3. Isn't that insane? And now I think a large pizza from Domino's, I mean, last I checked, it was, oh, yeah, they're running that, like, special that to where it's, um, well, you can get two, actually, if you do the right special for, uh, um, you can get two for, like, uh, Ten bucks, I think it is. Well, that's not bad, you know. As long as you use the all the coupons, I'm thinking of. But still, yeah, ten dollars for two. You know, that's five for each. You know, yeah, it was still cheaper, man. In the '90s and '80s, way cheaper. Back then, people didn't try to make a killing. You know, well, the economy really has changed. The world economy really has changed a lot in the past twenty-seven years. So it's crazy, man. Oh, that's what I was thinking about. A snack here. Oh, well, without further ado, we're just going to play a little music. I mean, I'm sure you guys are bored, right? There you go. This is... Well, that's uh, Kichigo, by the way. But this is... 
Uh, what is this? Oh, Quincy's Craft. Oh, okay. Not the best OST, but I like it. I like it. Está terminada. Está terminando. Aranca. Fuji Katare. Go! Arampa Daikaku. I can fire a thousand arrows with just one bow strike. I am Uru Ishida, and I will defeat every last one of you. Don't insult me by calling me a soul reaper. <laughs> I actually love uh, the way uh, Uru Yu's voice sounds in the anime. Uh, the, his voice actor, I forget who it is, but man, m my favorite voice actor by far. Um, he's a popular one, though, so. Anyway, what's this? Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to be watching this a little later. This is, um, My versus Merrick. A pretty epic duel. If I do say so myself. Uh, yeah. Anyway, our pizza should be warmed up by now. I'm going to take my snack. Big cup. I'm just going to get rid of it. I'll take a potato chip. And eat it. Oh my gosh, I should have totally had Death Note music going in the background for that that quote. Matter of fact, I'm going to actually look, look look up that that episode just so you guys will understand. Like, I'm not trying to be like, you know, creeper or anything with the sound of my voice. So, yeah, cuz I know that my, my voice, I've noticed a few of the other I'm going to just set this up. <laughs> but yeah, I've noticed a few of the other episodes. Like, my voice actually sounds a little creepy. I mean, even to me. Is that weird? Yeah, I think that's weird, dude. If you're doing so many voice, you know, changes that you can creep out yourself, that's... That's not good. That is not good, dude. Alright, dude, let's uh, drink a little water. Ooh. what I call high quality H2O. Mm. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's see what's in the fridge here. Uh, some water, purple stuff. Oh, Sunny D, alright. Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull. <laughs> Hey, I don't know if any of you are fans of K6GO, but do you remember like the Red Bull episode with the <laughs> Pokemon Coliseum? It was hilarious, bro. <laughs> he was just like, he was so, you know, hyper, and you could tell, too. It was hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh. Yeah, but I, re yeah, yeah, I really like uh, LPers and other LPers. I've been watching, um, uh, K6 Scope's uh, Pokemon trading card game LP lately. And, uh, it's so, he's so cool, man, like, on this one part, right, uh, he's basically battling, um, just this random duelist, this random fire guy, and he, he actually is able to, uh, I think he even makes a joke about it, maybe, about, about, you know, he's like, I summon Charizard in attack, or something like that, well, no, I don't think he makes that joke, but he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, he makes the Exodia joke, he's just like, He's like, Charizard, oh, it's all right. It's so cool, man. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't played that game in a while, though. Pokemon trading card game? I mean, I used to. Believe it or not, I used to collect uh, Pokemon cards as well. As a matter of fact, I think if I really needed them... I think I know who still has my old my old ones uh, hanging around here. So pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Let me just get some ranch on this. Yeah, I love ranch. 
Oh, it's gonna be so good. It smells good. I bet it smells good to you guys too. Someone out there is just like, what the heck? Like, how can we smell it? Like, I can see that being a comment, you know, 20 years into the future. It's like, dude, how can we smell it? We're not. Yeah, yeah, you want an idea for a cell phone? The all new snort phone. I snort. The I snort. It's a phone that can also use scratch and sniff technology through the Wi Fi. <laughs> Oh god, I crack myself up, man. Mm. But where I was going with that joke, mm, excuse me, is, and I know that we kids, and even I, I'm very guilty of this, of being obsessed with technology. Okay, that's number one. I am guilty of that, but listen, there's one thing technology will never be able to do. You know what I mean? Some of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And some of you are just like, well, okay, what is it? Well, that's going to be the common kind of question for this video. Name one thing that you th predict or that you know. No, name one thing that you know for sure, like you know it in your heart. You, you feel it in your soul, you know. Name one thing. That technology, and by technology I mean cell phones, TV, cars, whatever. Name one thing a technology will never be able to do. And I mean never, so that's the kind of question. And that's a broad, you know, that leaves a lot of options open for that kind of question, so there you go. Alright. Well, I'm going to grab this plate. And we are going to go to the front room and prepare for the epicness. Uh, let's see. Let me set this. Matter of fact, I'm just going to pull out this drawer here. And set you guys right there. Good, good. Alright, now I can eat in peace. Oh, where's my drink? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. By the way, I'm drinking a uh, Wild Cherry Pepsi, guys, by the way. Mm. <sighs> so rude, right? I don't care. This is a bonus episode. But, uh... <laughs> anyway, without further ado, prepare for the epicness. Oh. <laughs> Play. You <laughs> Man, he sounds pissed off. Well, I'm gonna be right back because I'm gonna get uh, a little something from my uh, from my room for no apparent reason. I don't know. While I'm watching Yu-Gi-Oh, I like to like organize my cards. And I actually need to do that right now. So, yep, I'm just gonna grab this pile of cards. So, yeah. Oh yeah, this part is so messed up, dude. Like, in fact, I'm going to rewind it just because it is so wrong what he's about to do here. He messes with his mind, dude. So wrong, bro. Yeah. It's so wrong, bro. Like he, yeah, that it's fucked up. Look at his face, bro. <laughs> he 
And he says, just kidding. Like, are you kidding me? That was messed up. <laughs> it's a dark joke, man. Yeah, basically, Yami there says the equivalent of, I'm gonna fucking kill you, basically. They sort of nerf it in the translation down there. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. Can't imagine that though. Playing a children's card game on top of a train. Like, <laughs> doesn't get any more high stakes than that. Swing! Odd seeing Yugi attack with an insect card. I must admit, that's part. That was probably the most interesting part of this duel, is seeing an insect type behind him attack the opponent. So, well, kind of odd. Doesn't really happen that often. And see, and see, Haga makes a mistake here. He thinks like, yeah, Yugi's done. I mean, I mean, and I would too. Normally, I mean, you attack the both monsters, right? But. This is the dangerous thing about quick play cards. Yeah, Qu here's a quick play. Here's the first time quick play cards really became the cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Quick play spell cards. Soko Mahos. Yep, there it is, man. Yep. Yep. for you. Queen's a knight. Yeah. That's another attack. Swing. This was a great comeback though, I must say. Yep. And then he just keeps killing up life. <laughs> so epic. Went ham. 
I gotta see that again, though, dude. <laughs> he just went ham. <laughs> like, like, okay, you wanna, you wanna mess with my mind? Okay, I'll just, I would just, I would just overkill you. Like, I don't know what overkill. O v a. <laughs> oh man, so epic, dude. I could really critique this episode all day, but it, it had everything, man. It had uh, the ups, downs, the psychological warfare, man. This was, this is it for Yu-Gi-Oh fans. So, Monster Kado, like for real, man. This is some pretty epic stuff. So, yep, yeah. Monster car though. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> Monster car though. Like, actually, this time I'm going to replay it one last time. I'm going to see how many times he attacks him, actually, because I'm not sure. The, the funny thing is he probably would have kept attacking him, too, if uh, Anzu hadn't stopped him here. So, But I'm just going to count with the next few cards how many times he attacks him. So, I wonder if it's like 10 or so. I don't know. I'm going to guess it's about 9. I don't know. Let's, 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 let's just watch and count together because I have no idea. So, there's the first one. Yeah. Monster Kado. That's one. So there you go. Queen's Knight. And the second one's Genju Gatena, right? Uh, Gazelle. So yeah, that's two. I know for sure. Monster Kado. <laughs> there you go. Big Shield Gardener. So that's three. Monster Kado. So that's four. <laughs> like, little Monster Kado. Five. Alpha. Three. Monster Kado. So that's six. Monster Kado. Seven. Three. Okay, some of them they just show the slash, so that's eight. <laughs> like, good lord. Three. Monster. Okay, so it would have been nine. <laughs> like, so I was close. What I say? Nine or? <laughs> yeah, it would have been nine. Good lord, dude. Wow. Yes, sir. And that is a man who has gone ham right there. Yes, a man who has gone to the brink of darkness and back. Yeah, he's dead, bro. Like, even if you hadn't took his soul, he'd be effed up. You just attacked him nine times. Yeah, it's useless. Jeez. Mm. I'm surprised he didn't, like, literally kill him right here and, like, snap his neck and throw him off the train. He was that pissed off, dude. But, good thing he didn't, though. Because Haga does have a very important role in the story later on, so, yeah, crazy stuff though, man, very crazy, well, with that guys, I am actually going to end this video, and I'm going to eat some pizza, and in the next episode, we are going to, what are we going to do, let me go back here to the, the tubes, oh, right, right, in the next episode, we are going to, um, we are going to, nice theme here, wow, <laughs> cool. That's some cool artwork. I don't know who did that, but that looks awesome. Uh, anyway, we are going to do a little more of the bonus uh, Pokemon Emerald. So, hunting for those Zig Ziggies. So, yeah, stay tuned for more, guys. And I'm going to wait till this video counts out. Well, I'll just wait till the end of the song. Yeah, for now, I'll just kind of let you guys sit here on the couch and enjoy. So, there you go. Hope you guys have a good day. And thanks for watching. I will see you all.
next video. Have a good day. Monster Carlo. Do Monster Carlo. Do Monster Carlo. Do Monster Carlo. Monster Carlo. Monster Carlo. Monster Carlo. Monster Carlo. Hello. Monster 